Right, so hi guys, so today we have part two of a simple of a beginner's guide to simple planes. Which I just which previously I mentioned covered engines. So for your plane well first you can use any engine you like. But I will use this plane so you're not allowed to use helicopter rotors. Don't worry. So today covers propeller so today's engine episode covers the propeller engine we'll get to the jet engine soon we'll get to the jet engine soon so over here i'm gonna you can choose any engine you like depending on the size of the watch but for me i prefer to to choose the boy g1000 if you press the part properties if you click on the part properties menu you can customize the prop and the propeller engine we're here to leave all these complicated stuff for now. Let's start with the basics. We're here we can change the horse, the power. The HP means horsepower. It's, it has a minimum of 250 points and maximum of 1000 horsepower. Over here you can change the blade diameter. And the blade thick, the blade fit and the blade thickness. Over here is the blade count where you can change how many how many blades there are. The, minu the minimum without any XML editing is two is two. The minimum with XML is one. But let's but let's not try to get ahead of ourselves in this basic tutorial. So for me I prefer having four for power. Down below it, you can see the blade style menu. Which is. Which is this thing down here. Here, the default style is the Cessna. Especially for. Especially for the. Sorry, 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 sorry. The main power. The main. The power's main blade. The, the main. Blade style, which is already pre-built, is the Cessna style. We have a Skimitar and Warbird. By the way, each one of these power engines have different. They have a different engine and different minimum and maximum horsepower. Over here, so we have the main blade style of a T1 of a. The Blade G1000 is the Cessna. While the main one for the World War II propeller engine is Warbird. While the Blade G3000 is the Scimitar. Well, next ep don't worry. Well, if you're a jet engine user, don't worry. Because this episode covers... Because... The next episode will be coming soon. So now, it, now that you have your chosen engine, well, psych, this engine, this episode actually covers all the engines. Well, mm -hmm. except for the VTO type, these ones are kind of complicated, but I already know my way around them, so don't worry about that. Okay. Sorry about the weird kind of coffee sound in the background. And I don't know where I got that sound effect. So I should just catch the coffee. Okay, come on guys, continue. So now that you have your power engine. Stunt plane, a civilian a power, a civilian plane, or a fighter jet, they may vary. For the fighter jet, 
or if you're trying to make an anton of a and two ten of maria you, i might recommend using this although i have my own custom winding gear but that's for a future episode mm -hmm. so we have a retract i'm gonna do retractable gear the victoria point and mm -hmm. rotate it backwards and now we're pretty much just finished and now the second of the episode covers mirroring the aircraft over here if you check this if you check this you can realize that there's some kind of rotation thingy which has all kinds of the options the transform part which includes rotating positioning and positioning the part and you can customize them but we'll get into that in the future episode two Later episode two. Even the attach point edit retachment ed editors and the paint jobs. So over here, if you just want, if you want to make only one part of the aircraft and everything has to connect to it, you can press this thing. And over here, you can also mirror parts of the aircraft, where you can mirror one side of the aircraft by having to hit the mirror button. Simple as that. We also have a mirror button over here, right below the share aircraft button. So that's pretty much it for the engine and the power side. The next video will actually cover the jet engines. The video right after that covers VTO and the engines and how to use them properly. So by doing that, I'm, I'm actually going to have to build. I'm actually going to have to use a demonstration point. It means I'm gonna have to come prepared before the next video. Before the next video after the next video. We also have all these fans in quest, but no, no, no. This is amazing. If you're a pro and you're complaining about me, which is so good, but I need to be so bad. Now we're gonna have to test it out. If it mm -hmm. doesn't fly well, don't worry. The video after the engine session will cover that out for you. So we have a recommendation orbit view, or if you're really quiet, cockpit view. You know? So to attract your mm -hmm. hold on. To track your landing gear, you have to click this button down here, which is the gear. And of course, don't even get, don't even get me started with that, okay? <clears throat> hey guys, look! It actually works, see? You're saying, ah, this tutorial is useless. You can just use the school, the <laughs> school thingy of the uh, simple planes. Well, that school thingy doesn't cover everything. It doesn't cover uh, every single section of the book. So this is why I have this beginner's guide. And there's no music or some wild wind. I just prefer hanging out right next to the electric fan. We have everyone, so now, guys, we are complete. See you next time, see you in the next video, which involves the jet engines. Mm.